So it would be hard to sit and talk with you guys without mentioning Daniel, that of course you're the son of uh, Dave Davies, legendary guitarist from the Kinks. Right. Um, the ultimate rebellion, I think, as a kid would be to go out and be a rock star and really stick it to your parents, but that poses a, a challenge for you in this particular area yeah, of rebellion. I do the opposite of go to school. Lawyer. Or yeah, lawyer. Like did, did you ever have the urge to just go be an accountant? No, because I remember my dad wrote a note to the school saying I shouldn't have homework because I'm there all day and I shouldn't have to come home and have school work and I thought, that's, that's right, I, I, I shouldn't. And uh, so then it kind of put a thing and I didn't really think school was that important, but it is, you know, and... Uh, stay in school, kids, yeah, stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the those things, uh, music and uh, those, those sort of things, they you just do it because it's in, in you, you know, you can't force that on right. someone. It just right. happens to be the thing I did. It's hard, I would think, in, in any profession to follow in your parents' um, footsteps, and, and obviously those are big shoes to fill. Has it felt more like a burden or a blessing? or? Um, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's cool, you know. We're just, uh, you know, I got my own, my own band, and uh, the guys are, are they're, they're good, you know, so I don't, I don't have to worry about about it too much. You know. No complaints? No, everyone, and Kinks fans all seem to be quite nice so far, you know. And uh, as long as they don't expect it to sound like someone that I'm not, then it's usually all right. Then it works okay. Yeah. Um, you Really Got Me was uh, just rated by Rolling Stone like number four greatest guitar song of all time. And, oh. and I read that, that your father pierced the speaker of his amp with needles and slashed it with razor blades or something. And it got me thinking about how bands back in the day were getting those great sounds and what you guys do to get your great vintage sounds. Because I'm just guessing it's not software. No, it's just an amp and a guitar. But on the record, we used some old little amp about this big, you know, different old Gibsonette. It's pretty simple, you know. We're just like three guys get in a room and play, and it either sounds good or it doesn't. You know? But it does, and we're so glad that it does. Yeah.